now as we look out, out down Independence Boulevard in East Charlotte, another great day to just get out and about around the Queen City and certainly don't see a cloud in the sky today. Oh, now let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. Tara, those Carolina blue skies won't quit. I am getting used to this. I mean, you we can tell everybody's in a good spoiled. mood mm -hmm. when the weather is good. Yes. And just like, you're like, we want more. Walk outside, you don't sweat. <laughs> and you think, oh, and people who are visiting, like people there in the, in the tournament, oh, yes, it's like this all the time yes. here. Come to Charlotte. Right. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, certainly Chamber of Commerce weather out there. And uh, we get our fair share, of course, of rainy days and even some snow like we had all those weekends last last January, but it has just been great out there so far. I mean, really this fall, of course, last Friday we were tracking Hurricane Ian and all that rain, but since then just a nice sunny stretch. And you can see that as we look live from our Gaston County tower camera there and some a little bit of a, a golden hue there down below too with some of that fall color continuing to break out with those cool nights and mornings. And of course, less and less daylight out there helps accelerate that as well. But temperature right now sitting at a warm 78 degrees. So we did get a few degrees warmer out there today in several neighborhoods. Lots of sunshine and we also have this warmer flow. You can see how the wind is now out of the west southwest six miles an hour. So that's that warmer direction giving us a boost in those temperatures and a few spots have jumped up around 80. Wadesboro included right at 80 degrees. We've got 81 checking in in Sharam, upper 70s from the Queen City down through the upstate 76 and Shelby and up through Hickory 77 Lincolnton 67 and Boone mid 60s up there in the mountains in Jefferson. Latest check of the drought monitor. I want to show you this because it's updated every Thursday and we really have gotten, especially over eastern portions of the Carolinas, rid of the drought that was in place. I mean, a good chunk of the year here. We still have a small little footprint of abnormally dry conditions over parts of Oh, Rock Hill and York County down through Chester County, but nothing too much to worry about there. And you can see uh, all the drought, any signs of that has been erased over eastern portions of the Carolinas after all that rain from Ian. Too much of a good thing, though, uh, in many cases going into uh, last week. All right, so the rain outlook over the next several days continues to be mostly dry. A small chance and maybe a couple of showers mainly to our south on Monday, but the next decent chance maybe of rain, not really until about a week from now, and you'll see that on the seven day forecast. Tonight we keep it dry, mostly clear temperature, not quite as chilly. It'll still be a cool start though tomorrow morning with a calm wind low of 52. And then tomorrow afternoon, here comes the cold front, another reinforcing front back off to the west, but you can see no green showing up on the map. Any chance of rain will stay mainly to our north, so it comes on through nice and dry. We're still ahead of it tomorrow. So back up to 82 we go, even a little bit warmer. We usually get that warmer push of air directly ahead of a front, but lots of sunshine and the cool down comes over the weekend, but still it's going to be so nice. We're talking highs around 70 degrees, and then you can see how those numbers moderate again going into next week. The concern will be up into the higher elevations in the mountains where we could have some patchy frost developing later at night, Saturday, Sunday morning, Monday morning once again as temperatures get a little closer to freezing. So watching for that and you can see daytime highs a little bit cooler, especially for Saturday. High of only 57 after that near 70 tomorrow, but then moderation and temperatures going into next week there back to sunshine. Great weather for all the events this weekend and games and the Roval 400. We have the Alzheimer's walk, the second in the series of walks around the area. Gastonia, this one on Saturday morning, stepping off at Rotary Centennial Pavilion, Gaston County there, 62 degrees. It's going to be lovely outside, partly cloudy and just a light breeze. Seven-day forecast shows great weather for the Panthers game at 4.05 against the 49ers on Sunday as well. Lots of sunshine until that what is right now pretty minor rain chance arrives next Thursday.